Hello, my name is Christy Dorch and I'm the Executive Vice President of Programming and Sales for the Tennessee Performing Arts Center and I have the great pleasure of interviewing today the wonderful Chris Lithgow. Hello Thank Chris. You. Thank you. Um, so I want to start with a question that you're probably not prepared for which is I think everyone needs to understand the heritage and regalness of your name, why it's familiar to them. Can you tell us a little bit about your family? Sure, um, you know 20, well, 18 years ago my family came over with the TV shows American Idol uh, and then created So You Think You Can Dance four years later. So we have a family history of doing television and now we're moving into theatre. Fantastic. And a word we've been throwing around a lot at TPAC uh, is related to you coming over. Can you talk to us about Panto and what that really means? Absolutely. So Panto is the first uh, look, if you like, for any child in the UK. It's a 300 year old tradition, always based on fairy tales. It's musical theatre, so it's, it's that in essence, but it has an interactive component. So we don't tell the kids to be quiet and, and, and sit down. We really ask the whole audience to boo uh, Captain Hook and cheer for Peter Pan. So um, it's, it's really a way of engaging new audiences uh, and getting kids into the arts. Well, but having had the luxury of seeing one of your Panto productions, which was wonderful, um, I have to tell you, I was a little skeptical about the it's for all ages thing, because people love that phrase, sure. but it is. Can you explain to everybody what about your show is different and what they can expect to see that makes it that way? Sure, so all our shows are written for the location. So this is Nashville-centric, uh, all the jokes are, are, are Nash gonna be Nashville jokes, and it really plays the script to adults. So although it's Peter Pan, which is essentially you know, for kids and maybe the kid within y yourself, um, the script is written for adults. Um, and, so, and we also put pop songs in it that are from different generations. So we have songs in it from the 50s through to the, for the grandparents, through to the 80s for the parents, and then obviously today's songs. So we have Bruno Mars in it for the kids, that, you know, and they get to sing along. Um, and it's just a lot of fun, really. And, 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 and as you've seen, Christy, it truly is for all ages. I have, and so another aspect that really brings that all ages to light is that you do have this amazing star-studded cast that appeals to so many different people and is recognizable by so many different generations. Can you talk a little bit about the cast? Yeah, absolutely. We, what a wonderful cast. It I mean, is. We're, we're, we're very blessed to have that cast. Um, and they were so excited to get to Nashville. I think Nashville's a great selling point when we, when we bring cast members over from Los Angeles. We've also got cast members who are based in Nashville. But the cast we have, um, playing Captain Hook, John O'Hurley, known uh, as Jay Peterman from Seinfeld, Elaine's boss. Um, I couldn't think of a better Captain Hook. Yes. I mean, he is absolutely unbelievable. Um, and you know, through to Garrett Clayton, who plays Peter Pan, who's at Disney, was, uh, was on Grease Live, was in Disney Teen Beach movie. Uh, we've got um, the wonderful Tegan Marie, who is, for me, going to be a huge star, um, you know, huge potential. Um, Diana DeGarmo uh, from our American Idol days. Um, a Nashville favorite, for sure. A Nashville favorite, for sure, right. Um, she really is, um, you know, she stops, I think she's going to stop the show. She sings, I'm going to give too much away, but she does a tribute to Aretha Franklin. And, you know, that's no messing around. I mean, she is unbelievable. Um, and then we have our, every panto has a, a comic, um, a kind of narrator that guides the audience through the show. Um, and it's a gentleman called Ben Giroux, who uh, plays more to the younger audiences. He's in a, in a show uh, on Nickelodeon called Henry Danger. Um, but he is fabulous. He really is. The improv is, is, is amazing. Oh, he's spot on. I, having yeah. the luxury to sit in rehearsals, he is spot on. Yeah. So, as we wrap this up, and I think, thank you so much for coming out to do this with us. Sure. What is the one thing that you would say to Nashville audiences that you brought this to Nashville because? I brought this to Nashville because I believe, and we believe, that uh, today the family needs something to come back together again. We always believed that American Idol, one of the big components of American Idol, why it was so successful, was because there was a need at the time on television for a show that brought the family together where the grandparent, the parent and the kid could all watch together. They might like different singers, but they all watch the show together. And that's exactly what this theatre is. So we're kind of telling parents to throw away YouTube for the kids and Fortnite and, and bring them down and get them into the theatre and, and make a family event of it. You know, a holiday tradition every year, uh, come and see the Panto at TPAC. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for bringing this wonderful production. We're very, very excited. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you.